So I've got some barriers set up in the background. I'm going to be using that to test uh, diving and rolling. I'm also going to use this uh, spring-powered airsoft pistol to help me out. In this video, I'm exploring the differences in biomechanics between diving and rolling. I am not endorsing or advocating any specific tactical evasive maneuvers. In the first setup, I am taking cover to my 3 o'clock. I quickly found that rolling was much more comfortable than diving. In the roll, there was no jarring stop as I hit the ground after running out of steam from the jump. After each series of movements, there is a one-third speed review of first the slowest and then the fastest of each move overlapped for comparison. The second setup is taking cover to my 11 o'clock. During the dive, I was having to stop short to keep from running head-on into the obstruction, thus having to prematurely stop my forward momentum. The third setup is to see how fast I can return fire from my original 7 o'clock to test the speed of recovery between diving and rolling. The dive allowed me to change direction over the obstacle and orient my body in a better position to return fire. The fourth setup is taking cover to my 12 o'clock from a running start, firing and then returning to cover as fast as possible. When I reviewed the footage on this, I found that I actually wasn't diving and that subconsciously I was going from the run to an army crawl, which is an interesting motion, but it seems to work. When I was doing these movements from a run, as I was concentrating and getting down to the ground, I would go into tunnel vision, I noticed, and I lost almost all peripheral vision. And on the roll, I recovered from this tunnel vision much faster and was able to acquire my target more clearly and sooner.